good morning to the rest as well. So today we want to introduce what we call inequalities. And it's from inequalities that we shall advance and go to what we call curve sketching. So we are introducing inequalities. Uh, we all know what inequalities can try to imply in our day to day life. Inequalities means, or if something in it which is an inequality means, for example, it means just a word. You are students, I'm a teacher, we are not equal. So there is an inequality there. Some of you are good at solving math problems, others are not. There is an inequality there. Some of you, your parents are rich, others are poor. There is an inequality there. Some of you are fat, some of you are small, some of you are short, some of you are tall, all those are inequalities. So people have so many inequalities in, uh, in their lives. So it comes to also other institutions, offices, courses, buildings, roads, all of them are different. So the fact that those items differ, it brings about what we call an inequality. Okay. So with that note, uh, if I may remind you how the inequality symbols are, from primary, we've seen some of these symbols, symbols of inequalities. There is a symbol which is represented by the left hand when you fold your hand. See how I folded my hand? That symbol displayed there represents less than. Then if I fold the right hand, the symbol it predicts is what we read as greater than symbol or sign. Now these symbols, sometimes they have boundaries and the boundaries upon them include a boundary which can be less than or equal to, which can be greater than or equal to. So in that sense, this one can mean less than, then this symbol can mean greater than, then this is less than or equal to, and this is greater than or equal. Where we have the equal sign, a value being talked about in the picture is inclusive. Where we have no equal sign, the value in the picture is not inclusive. For example, if I say students greater than 20 yards, it means I need only those students who are 21 and above. Whereas if I say I need students who are 18 and above, then those who are 18 years are inclusive, 19 years are inclusive and beyond. But if I say beyond 18, beyond 18, it means those who are 18 are not included. So with that introduction to inequalities, uh, proudly now we can introduce I've said we have less than, we have greater than, we have less or equal to, we have greater or equal to. Um, then from the knowledge, solving for roots, you can be asked. Excuse me. Yes, please. Is pure math? Pardon? Is this pure math? Or... Yes, please. Okay, thank you. I advanced to pure math. So solutions to inequalities are, they are in form of sets. For example, like I've said, if they ask you to say, find X is greater than one, X is greater than one includes two, three, four, five, up to positive infinity. So that is the set. So instead of writing all these very many digits, one can say the solution is X is greater or equal to two. Meaning starting from two and beyond. 
that can be a solution. But now, that was being done mostly when we are still in primary and school level. Right now, we are going to have examples, which can say sort of the following inequalities. Whereby, for example, if you have example one, two x squared plus x minus 10 is less than zero. Then Roman two, three x squared plus 17 x minus 20, perhaps is greater than eight. Then Roman three, we can have two x squared minus x is greater or equal to six. Now, when finding solutions, when finding solutions, to inequalities, one, we identify, identify, critical points. Two, we investigate the regions before, comma, between and after the critical points. Okay. Also three, we test the sign, signs of those solutions that satisfy the equation, that satisfy the equations. So, those three items I've mentioned are very vital in solving these equations. And then also, we should factorize, factorize the functions to linear, to linear terms. Now, according to what we have so far, we have, can someone factorize for me two x squared plus x minus 10 is less than zero. Two numbers, when multiplied, you get negative 20. When you add it, you get one. Negative four, negative four and five. Negative four and five. You are experts in quadratics, I guess. So this would be two X into X minus two plus five into X minus two is less than zero. When you factorize, you get two X plus five and X minus two is less than zero. So these are the linear brackets. I've been talking about, all oh, these are the linear functions. We have factorized the term two. Now, critical points. The critical points are got by equating the brackets to zero. So we have X is two. We also have X is negative five. You equate these brackets to what? To zero. All of the brackets you have, even if they are four, they are five, whatever number you have, Equate it to, to zero. Mm. Oh, this is not true. It is negative five out of two, eh? like that. Okay. Now, having realized that, this is what follows next to investigate the regions before the critical points between critical points 
and beyond the critical points by writing them in ascending order. For example, if you investigate X is less than the smallest, negative five over two. Investigate negative five over two, less than X, less than two. That is between the critical points. Investigate X is beyond two. That is beyond the critical point. Then use our linear terms with the identified 2x plus 5. Then we also need x minus 2. Then down here, we are going to have the sign of the function in terms of x. Now, according to this question, this one said less than 0. Less than 0, it needs a solution set which is negative. Greater than zero, the solution set should be positive. Okay, now what does this call for? Substitute, pick any value less than negative 2.5. I can pick negative three. When I pick negative three and place it, I'll get negative six plus five, I'll get a negative one. But you don't write the negative one, but rather I need its sign. So it's a what? A negative. If I pick negative three again, I will see that I'll get negative three and I substitute it here, I'll get negative five, which is also what? A negative. Now the sign of the function, because these two brackets, we are multiplying each other, multiply the negative and the negative, you get a what? A positive. If I move to the second column, can I have questions? Yes. With, I said we pick, pick a value, pick any value less than negative 2.5. Pick me one value of your choice. Which value can you pick? Um, negative three. Negative four. Negative, yeah. negative four. Now put negative four where you have X. You'll have a negative eight plus five. Won't it give you a negative four? To give you a negative four, right? Hmm? Yes. But we don't write negative four, we write the sign of the value of God. Remember we said we take the signs of the solution. So we take the sign of negative four, okay? Now, if you pick negative four again here, you'll have a negative four minus two, which is a negative six. I won't write negative six, but I'll write the negative sign, okay? Then the negative times the negative gives me what? Positive. Still with you, lady, don't go away. Pick me a value between negative 2.5 and positive 2. The best value to pick there is what? 1. 1. One. 0 is the best because it is between a negative and a positive. Eh? But OK, let me take 1. If I take 1, 1, plus, one times 2 is 2 plus 5 is 7. Seven is positive, eh? we agree? Come down here, when you pick one, you'll get negative, positive one minus two, which will give us a what? A negative, do we agree? Positive times negative, the answer is always what? Negative. negative. Then someone pick for me the last term. A value greater than two, any, which value do you want to pick? Three. Three, when I place three here, I'll get six plus five, 11, which is a what? Positive. Three minus two is also what? Positive. Positive times positive, you get a what? Positive. Our question wanted a less than. A less than is a what? Is a negative. So choose out the sign of the function, which one is a negative? That is why the result or the answer becomes a what? Becomes this solution set where you've got the negative sign. Therefore, the answer is negative five out of two, less than X, less than two. Someone is saying, excuse me, teacher. Teacher, I hope I didn't table because my network was poor. Yeah. Why, don't I handle, why don't I handle it using the second one? You mind? Okay, where is the biggest problem in the table? How I've got the signs? 
I don't know how you got the signs. Yeah, all of them, eh? Yeah. Okay, let's work together. Let's look at the first column. You... The first column says X is less than negative 2.5 or negative five over two. Do you agree? Yes, teacher. Can you pick me a value which is smaller than negative 2.5 or less than negative 2.5? Mm. Any? One. Zero. Are you sure one is less than that? You remember no, the number? Negative. Yeah. Uh, sorry, negative. It's negative one, maybe. Madam, remember the remember the uh, the what the number line. You have zero. Negative, negative three. One. Negative two. Negative three. Negative two. Okay, you have picked negative three. It is here. Okay. Now put negative three here. What do you get? Negative one. But you don't write the negative one. You write only the sign. That's why I put a negative. Is that okay? Okay. Then yes. do the same for the second term. We choose negative. We chose negative three, right? Yes. When you put here negative three, what do you get? You get negative five. But you don't write negative five. You write negative. the sign. You agree? Yes. Negative times negative, you get a what? Positive, not so. A positive. Now, come to the yes. term between negative 2.5 and, neg and positive 2. Pick me a value there. 1, one. 0. You pick one, 0. OK, let's pick 0. When you pick 0, you get 0 plus 5, positivity of 5. So the answer is a positivity. Do you agree? Yes. When you put here zero, you get a negativity. You agree? Yes. Positive times negative, what do you get? Negative. Correct. Pick a value beyond two. Three. Three here gives me positive eight. Three here gives me positive one. Positive times positive, you get? One. Positive. Now, how do we get the answer for the conclusion? You go back to the question. What inequality symbol was there? It was a less than symbol. Less than what? Zero. If it's less than zero, it implies it's a what? A negative. Not so. Beyond zero is a what? A positive. A Therefore, positive. where is the sign of negative? It is here. In which region? Negative five over two less than x less than two. So this becomes our solution. Happy? Thank you. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Now look at this question. Too. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, please. Excuse me, teacher. Mm. Uh, uh, is it possible to, uh, to get, uh, to get uh, the function? Uh, let me say all, uh, all are negative. It is OK. Uh, how do you conclude that? It is okay, but it is rare. It means if you get all the signs are negative, it's rare. it means this. If you, yeah. it, is, it is impossible. I can't say it is very impossible. It is possible. If it is possible, it means you are still in the same region. For example, you are in school, eh? and okay. before you leave the school gate, you are still in school. Do you agree? If you're at your dormitory, you're still within the yes. school. If you're at the gate, but on the side of the school, you are still in school. Yeah? So if all the answers you're getting are showing that you are in school, you are in the class, you are in the laboratory, you are in the dormitory, you are in the lab trains of the school, you are at the basketball court pitch, you are at school. You are within the same region. So getting negative is a drought means you are in the same region. Have you got my argument to cash? That getting a negative means you are in yes, the same Sitting. region. Sitting. Elizabeth Makala, you had it. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Magala had a hand.
Yes, Elizabeth, what's your, what's your concern? Elizabeth, are you okay? She's not responsive. The second question says, three of X squared plus 17 of X minus 20 is greater than eight. First simplify until you create zero on the right hand side, which is three X squared plus 17 X minus 20 minus eight is greater than zero. You will get three X squared plus 17 X minus 28 is greater than zero. Factorize very fast. Negative four out of three and seven. Negative four out of three and seven. Okay. With this, our critical points are X is four out of three and X is seven. So if the critical points are X is, yes, please. Teacher, the, it's a, the X2 should be a negative seven. Yeah, this one is a positive. Okay, you're right. You're right. So if you have to go and draw our table for the solution, we shall have X plus seven, X minus four over three, sine of the function, F of X, So one, we have X, X is equal to four over three, X is equal to negative seven. Eh? So the smallest is negative seven. So we shall have X is less than negative seven, negative seven less than X, less than four over three, X is beyond four over three. Now, uh, let me ask who. Abdi, pick me a value less than negative seven. Abdi? Negative eight. Negative eight plus seven, what do you get? Negative one. Negative one, so you write the negative. Negative eight minus four over three is definitely what? Negative positive. Negative. Yeah? I want the sign. Abdi. Negative. Negative. Negative times negative. Positive. 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 Then between negative seven, and the four over three, Abdi is still with you. Pick me a value. Mm -hmm. You have a negative zero. sign and a positive. Zero. Zero. Substitute zero in seven. Excuse X. me, teacher. Yes, please. Someone has said, excuse me. That uh, when we had, when we had, the four out of three and negative seven. I cannot get, cannot get the seventeen. Uh, you can get supposed it. to complete. The seventeen plus. comes from twenty one minus four x. If you're factorizing, those roots are correct. Abdi, we are still with you. You picked a zero. Zero, yeah. zero plus seven. You get which sign? Positive. Positive. 
Zero minus four over three, which sign? Negative. Negative times positive? Negative. X is greater than four over three. Hmm? Five. Pick five. five. Uh -huh. When you substitute, what sign? Positive. Five, what sign? Uh, positive. Positive. Positive times positive? Positive. Positive. Now, let me first take you back to the question. The question say, it is supposed to be greater than what? Here where you factorize from is what predicts the solution. It's supposed to be greater than zero. So greater than zero is a positive. So where are the positives? Here and there. So the solution set is X is less than negative seven and X is beyond four over three. So here you write two answers because the signs have appeared twice and you write all the regions where those signs are appearing, okay? Then there's that question three, which says two X squared minus X is greater or equal to six. So this can be written as two X squared minus X minus six is greater or equal to zero. Someone factorize this. What do you get? X minus two and X plus three over two. So this is greater or equal to zero. Okay. Now the critical points are X is two and X is equal to negative three over two. So having realized these critical points, we can uh, go ahead and do the solution. Now, this one had an equal sign, but I told you we investigate regions before, within, and after. Now, when you're writing down this presentation, it should be X minus two, then two X plus three, then sign of F of X. Then when you come here for the presentation of the regions, this is where the trouble is in presenting. The smallest value is X is less than negative three over two. Negative three over two less than X, less than the next critical point, then X beyond the last critical point. Now, we do not attach an equal sign here. You know why? It's because if I put here, if I say this is X is less than or equal to negative three out of two, when I go to this region, it will be negative three out of two, less or equal to X, less or equal to two. Because negative three over two is here and it is equal, even here it will be there and it is equal. So it will mean I'm in the same region. I'm still in school, I've not yet left. You are inside the school. You are at the gate inside the school. Then you leave. And when you leave at the same time, you are still in the same school. Then you have not yet left. You have to leave once you have exceeded the gate of the school. So when those equal signs are put there, it means you are still in the same regions. Even here, if you say this is X is greater or equal to two, you are still in the same region. You were here, two as here, even the two is here, so they are all in the same regions. So to avoid that, we do not put the equal signs. But rather the equal signs come back in the solution. How? Let's go ahead and find out the solution. Uh, Aisha Abdallah. Aisha Abdallah. Teacher. Yes, pick me a value less than negative three. Um, negative two. Negative two. Substitute oh, negative okay. two negative here. Two. 
Negative what? It will be a negative. A negative. The same value when you use it here, what do you get? Um, a negative. A negative. What value did you pick? Negative three? Negative two. Okay. Then when you multiply these two, you get a what? A positive. Then pick me a value between these two. One. One. When you pick one, you get a what? A negative. Then here, what do you get? And a positive. Negative times positive. It's a negative. Beyond the two? Three. When you substitute three, what do you get? A positive. Positive, uh, when you substitute here, what do you get? When you put your three? A positive. Positive times positive? Positive. So, uh, what does that mean? The question was saying greater or equal to greater than is positive, no? So, so the positives are here and there. Therefore, the solution will become x is less than negative three over two or x is greater than two. But because the inequality had an equal sign, the equal sign comes back here in the solution. So mind that presentation, guys. Hmm? Be very sensitive with that presentation. Teacher, why? Why? Teacher, why? It is because I've told you when you are investigating yes. in the table and you include an equal sign here. And even here, you include an equal sign. Then here, negative two over three lies here. Even here, it lies here. Once it lies in those two regions, it is, means you're still in the same region. You have not yet left. They tell you someone's in senior one west. Then they tell you that person has left, has now gone to senior one east. Has that person left school? No. But if they tell you the person was in senior one west and now he has gone to the town, then that person has left school. Okay, so to avoid that confusion of staying in the same region, that is why we minimize the equal sign. We only take the inequality sign, whether less than or greater than. Then we bring it back in the solution set. Are we still together? Any other person with a concern before I proceed to another interesting example? Teacher, the way yes. I have factorized is confusing me. The way I have factorized is confusing you. Yes. Uh, factorization. Okay, if you're not good at factorizing, use a calculator. Yeah? Just press the values in a calculator. The calculator will give you x is to x is negative three over two. So if that is the case, write them backwards in the linear factorizable form. It is only not possible or permissible to use this if you have decimals. If you have decimals, I'll expect you to use bulldozer. Hmm? Otherwise, I, if you wanted to see that, uh, if you were to use, those of us who wanted to investigate, but I don't want to give you that. Okay? If I give you the equal sign, I'll confuse you. Let me leave you at that. Otherwise, would have investigated if it is equal to what you get. When x is two, you'll have zero. Hmm? Guys, I don't want to. I, no, no. Let me let me leave it. Since no one even has even asked about it. Okay. Another question. Find the solution of the inequality. Uh, 
So we have a question here, as you can see, it wants us to investigate the solution for that inequality. And now it has been given when it has already been factorized to linear functions. We just need to identify critical points. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Sir, can you please go back on the first page? Yeah, so mm. why do we express like a solution for that first inequality, like in that form? Why is it that? So, and like the other numbers that we've been doing, I'm seeing like we are having like. Two solutions why like this one is like hey, okay the other numbers are having two solutions this one has only one solution why is that the question yes it depends on the question the question was saying less than here and less than calls for less than zero calls for negative so you only had one negative sign then this other next question eh? it had what it had uh greater than zero, which called for positive signs. So check and see how many positive signs do we have? We have one, two, that's why the solution has two values. Then this one uh, also has greater than, so we have also still a positive, which gives us two values, also two inequalities. Now you're going to see this one can even have more than two as we are going to investigate. So the critical points here are x is negative 2, x is negative 1, x is 2, and x is 3. It is better you write these answers in ascending order for consistency when you're presenting in the table. All right? Now, the smallest value there is, the smallest value is what? The smallest value is x is negative. negative. So here we are. We draw our table. We take a look at it. So we have the smallest is negative two. So X is less than negative two. Negative two is less than X, less than negative one. Negative one is less than X, less than positive two. Positive two is less than X, less than negative three. positive three. Then X is beyond positive three. Then we have here X plus one, X minus two, X plus two, X minus three. We have sine f of x down here. So with this, <clears throat> um, who is ready here to give me the answers? Habiba. Habiba, <clears throat> Habiba, are you there? Yes, Habiba, are you there? Yes, Habiba. Yes. Uh, pick a value less than negative one. Pick a value less than negative, negative one. one negative. I mean negative two. Negative three. Negative three. When you add it to one, what do you get? A negative. A negative. Negative three minus two, what do you get? Negative. 
Negative. Negative three minus plus two, what do you get? A negative. Negative. Negative three. Hey, wait. You don't choose a value which is among the critical points. Okay, here you pick another one. Here you pick a value beyond negative two. Do you know why you don't pick such a value? It's because if you pick here negative three, hey, you say negative three, eh? I think we are safe. Yes. Negative three is not a man, it's okay. You get negative, not so. Yes. So negative times, negative times, negative times, negative four times, what, what sign do you get? Positive. Positive. Positive, thank you. Habiba, a value between negative two and negative one. Very good. Negative 0 0.5. Impossible. It cannot lie between negative one and negative two. Negative one point. Negative one point five, sir. Negative one point five. Add it to one. What sign do you get? A negative. Add it to negative two. What sign do you get? A negative. Add it to positive two. What sign do you get? A positive. Add it to negative three. What sign do you get? A negative. Negative times negative. Positive, not so. Habib. Yes. Positive times positive. Yes. Yes, yes means what? Positive times positive, positive yes. <laughs> positive. No, it's a positive. Hey, then times another negative. Negative. So the sign down here is what? Negative. Abi, by choosing a value between negative two, negative one, and the positive two. What value is best to be zero. Picked? zero? Give me the signs. Positive. Next one. Negative. Next one. Positive. Next one. Negative. Total sign. Positive. Thank you. Uh, still with you, Habiba. Between two and three, pick a value. One. Are you sure one lies between two and three, Habiba? Come on. Sorry, teacher. No. My God. <laughs> Add it to one. You get what sign? Positive. Uh -huh. Add it to two. Positive. Mm -hmm. Negative. Impossible. You are adding 2.5 to two. How do you get a negative? Oh, teacher, it is a positive. You are not steady with your head. This requires some mental work. If you're not steady, you get a calculator and waste some time. Okay, the last one, what do you get? It's a negative. Negative. Total sign? Hmm? Negative. 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 Habiba, give me the last values. What value have you picked? Four. Oh, give me the signs. Positive. 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 Total. Positive. Positive. But guys, don't overcram that always the extreme column should have positive, positive throughout. Uh -uh. Likewise, don't cram that the, last, the first column should have negative throughout. It depends. Yeah. Okay, so what is the solution set? Habiba, give me the solution. It was less than. So give me the solution set. Less than calls for? Less than zero. What does it call for? Negative. Negative. So give me the solution here. Negative two. Yes. Less than X, less than negative one. What was the inequality in the question? Less than. Or equal to. So give me the solution. Negative two less than or equal to x less than or equal to negative one. Correct. Thank you. The second one. Two. Mm. Yes, two. Less than or equal to x. Less than or equal to x. Less than, less than or equal to three. Very good. Thank you so much, Habib. So guys, that is our solution. Questions for those members who are not following so rightly.
Any questions? Teacher, my question is like, where did you, where did, where did, no, when you check the question, we, it was divided. Now, why, why, why did you ignore that division part? Why did I ignore the division part? When I'm dealing with the signs, eh? Yeah? You didn't divide anywhere on the, when you are dealing when with When I was signs. dealing with the signs, not so. It is because division and multiplication are commutative. The signs of multiplication give the same value as the signs of division. When I divide a positive and a positive, I get a positive. When I divide a positive and a negative, I get a negative. When I divide a negative and a positive, I get a negative. When I multiply a negative and a positive, you get a, positive, a negative. When you multiply a positive and a negative, you still get a negative. So where the sign of multiplication applies, the same sign applies on division. Have I answered you right? Yes. Welcome. Any other concern? <clears throat> we should note the following when solving inequalities. Avoid one division, two cross multiplication, So examples on that you can have the following one x minus two is less than eight out of x. We are going to find more of these numbers in backhouse two, so you should get a backhouse two and investigate some of these numbers. Then I'll also expect the following. Okay, And also have this one, magnitude of x minus two is greater than one. Okay, so they can ask you to find or to solve those inequalities. All right. Um, so the first one we are having x minus two is what is less than eight out of x and I've said you should avoid cross multiplication. So what do you do? You collect like terms and simplify. So now you are able to simplify the fraction and the whole number and realize x squared minus two x minus eight. All is over x is less than zero. Someone factorize the numerator. Someone should factorize the numerator. What do you attain? Elizabeth. Minus four. You get what? X minus four. X minus four. And x plus two. And x plus two. Thank you. Do you see that down is just a single x? Then all these have become linear brackets, so we can get the critical points. So the critical points can be attained from x is equal to negative two, comma, x is equal to zero, and x is equal to four. All those are critical points. So with this, what do we attain? Shall 
have all these critical points handled, and now we can get their solutions. X is less than negative two, negative two less than X less than zero, zero less than X less than four, X is beyond the four. So we have X as a bracket. We have X minus four. We have X plus two. Sine of F of X. A value less than negative two. Yes, Habib, by your hand is up. Teacher, I beg your pardon on why X is equal to zero. Why X is equal to zero? I assume there is a factorization of X minus zero down here. Remember, we get critical points by equating all the linear brackets to zero, right? So if you equate all the linear brackets to zero, you attain x is zero, okay? Yes, thank you, teacher. So, uh, where, is, where are the boys? Opio, Opio, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, Opio, give me the signs here. Pick a value, give me the sign. Negative three. Uh huh, sign. That, that one is negative. Negative. The next one? Negative. The last one? Negative. Total sign? Positive. Negative. <laughs> Okay, between negative two and zero. It is a negative one, negative, negative one. Negative one, so you get a negative here, right? Yes. Then the next Better sign. negative there, uh -huh. negative. Down here. Positive. Lastly. Mm, positive. Between zero and four. Uh, put one. One, what do you get? Positive. Here. Negative. Negative. Down here. Positive. When you multiply. Negative. Beyond four? Five. Five, uh, which gives us a? Positive. Positivity, then uh, five positive. minus four, positivity. Then five four, plus two, what do you get? Four, positive. Then the total sign? Positive throughout. Positivity throughout. Positive. Okay. Thank you so much. So positive. what is the solution? Give me the solution set as well. We have x less than negative two. Correct. And zero less than x less than four. Very good. That is our answer. There was a second question there, which was having magnitude. Eh? Magnitude of... Uh, magnitude of x minus two is greater than one. So to remove the magnitude sign, you first square on both sides. So when you square both sides, you get x minus two to the square. It's gonna be greater than one to the square. This will give us x minus two x minus four x plus four minus one is greater than zero. Though with this, you can now have this is x squared. x squared minus 4x plus 3 is greater than 0. Can we now factorize?
factorize and we get the solution. Factorize and give me the answers. Still in class. Nina Kukubira. Yeah? One and three. One and three. X minus one and X minus three is greater than zero. So critical points are X is one and X is three. So if those are our critical points, you finish it up and give me the answer. So why did you introduce squares? Because I wanted to remove the magnitude symbol. Okay. Yes, sir. Someone go ahead and give me the answer so that I can bring another important number here. Uh, from my table, the, 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 the final answer is what x, x is less than one, then x is, is greater than three. Correct. So you find some books saying x is, x is greater than one, and x is greater than three. This is also correct. So they can give you a question like this one. Abdi, such a number, what is the first step you have to take? Um, remove the magnitude. By How squaring. do you do that? Square. By squaring on both sides. So 2x minus 4 squared, all is divided by x plus 1 raised to the square is less than 16. Remember I said avoid cross multiplication, avoid division. So solve by bringing it on this other hand. So we shall get 4x to the square minus 16 of x plus 16 divided by uh, x to the square plus 2 of x plus 1 minus 16 is less than 0. I require your skills of algebra here very much. 4x to the square minus 16x plus 16 minus 16x to the square, minus 32x, minus 16, all divided by x squared plus 2x plus one is less than zero. You're going to find numbers which are interesting that's in this form. When you simplify this, what do you realize? We shall realize a negativity of 12 of x to the square, then a minus 48 x, then I can lose the 16, all divided by x to the square, plus 2x plus 1 is less than 0. Now, when the function reduces to such a polynomial in the numerator and the denominator, then it has come to an improper fraction, which you can still factorize the numerator and the denominator. By this, you'll attain 
uh, x into, let me have a negative x into 12x plus 48. All divided by the denominator would be x plus one squared is less than zero. So you have introduced linear brackets again. So if you equate all these brackets to zero, you will have x is zero. You'll attain x is negative one. Then lastly, x is equal to negative four. So when you come to get the general solution, you'll have to use the ascending order whereby the smallest term is negative four, the next term is negative one, the highest term is zero. So our solution table will look like this. X is less than negative four. Negative four less than X less than negative one. Negative one less X less zero, and then X is beyond zero. Now, some people may want, now uh, there's something I've not mentioned here. One, if I want to remove this negative, eh, who remembers the definition of dividing by negative in inequalities, what happens to the symbol? Changes. Changes. Do you want to change it or we want you, we leave it as it is? Let me first ask this. Oh, we investigate both. I think let's investigate both. So first I'm not changing the symbol, so I'm handling everything as it is. It is what it is. So it is negativity of X. The other one is X plus four. Then the last one is X plus one. Now, those of us who are not seeing X plus one clearly, one could have written this in the form of a negativity of X into 12 X plus 48. all divided by x plus one, x plus one repeated. So one could have taken that into that interpretation. We'd still have the same idea and be in position to equate them to zero and attain the critical points. Therefore, the lower part is having a square. You don't write only one. If you don't want to write the square, then write both of them. But that one will make you look like a student who's not from a five-star school, taught by five-star teachers. Yeah. So sine of f of x, when I substitute a negativity of five, I'll get a positive here. I'll get a negative here. I'll get a positive here because a positive or a negative when squared, no matter, you have to get a positivity. So the answer down here is a negative. Between negative four and negative one, negative three, you will attain a positivity. You'll get a positivity, you'll get a positivity, positivity. Between negative one and zero, negative 0 0.5, positivity, 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 positivity. My friend who asked me a question, Ukasha, are you still alive? Do you still have data, Ukasha? My friend Ukasha, are you there? Ukasha is not present. Hey, no, 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 this one is a negative, my bad. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This one is a negative because it is negative 0 0.5. Eh? Hey, no, no. No, it's a positive, I think I'm right. Positive, positive, yeah, I'm right. Then yeah, when I pick a value beyond zero, I get a negativity, positivity, positivity. I'll get a negative, I'll get a positive. Ukasha, where are you? Ukasha, are you there? Now, those of you who wanted to cram that if the first one is negative, the next one is positive, then negative. Now, look at this presentation. It is killing your order. If it has killed your order, what, what, what does the question want? 
the question wants us to find a negative. Negative is going to be x is less than negative four, x is greater than zero. Very good example. That is method one, without dividing the sign. Method two, I want us to investigate what we get when we divide the sign, right? So, any concerns here? So it is okay to get consecutive signs, but I told you if you get consecutive signs, it means you are still in the same region. For you may not know, but the proof can be seen or can be realized when you do the number and get the entire solution, okay? Now, if this one was negative x into 12x plus 48 divided by. Out of x plus one squared, it was which symbol? It was this having a symbol of less than less than zero. When you divide both sides, we shall realize x into 12x plus 48 divided by x plus one is now greater than what? Zero. Habiba, your hand is up. Touch on the solution, is that 20? X is greater than 20. It was supposed to be zero, eh? Sorry. Now let's investigate and see whether we get the same answers. Eh? So investigating the solution, the critical points are now, X is still zero. X is equal to negative four, and X is equal to negative one. So we shall have X less than negative four. Negative four less than X less than negative one. Negative one less than X less than zero. And then lastly, X is beyond zero. So we have here x, here we have x plus four, we have x plus one, but the whole of it is what? Squared, then sine of f of x. So those of you who are very good at cramming, eh? when you see x is squared or the term is squared, don't waste time, all of them are positive because the square of a, of a, fu of a function always gives a positive value. So when I pick a value less than negative four, I'll get a negative. Negative four, negative. The first term will be positive. Negative three, negative, positive, negative. Negative one and zero, I get negative 0 0.5. A negativity, a positivity, a negative. Beyond zero, I'll attain a positivity, a positivity. What does the solution want? The solution now wants a what? A positive. So the solution will become x is less than negative four and x is beyond zero. Do you see that you realize the same solutions? So you have to be sensitive with that sign. Whether you divide it off or you don't divide it off and you maintain it in your presentation, you'll still come up with the same solution. Any questions? Any questions? Uh, let me get back house two and I identify the page for you. I haven't understood the difference.
To Shima, you haven't understood the difference. The, the difference, the answers are the same. But I was saying the presentation eh, can differ a little. Teacher, why are you squaring? Elizabeth is asking. Yes, Elizabeth Magara, why am I squaring? It's because look at the function. The function had a denominator of x plus one squared. When I expanded it, it became this. I factorized it back, it went back to x plus one squared. Then I told you, take it like this term, as if the brackets were split. But if you don't take it like that, then it's the same as saying, you go ahead and split those brackets and then have four, four linear brackets here in the column. But well, that one will be showing that you are an amateur. If you're a five star student, I expect you to see that it is a square. So that's why the square is brought out. Toshimi, what was the problem? As meaning the difference in my division, I haven't got it. The difference in? That part of changing the sign. Of changing what? Changing sign. Mm. And when you divide the sign, eh? I divided the negative on both sides. When you divide the negative on both sides, the inequality sign changes. Hmm? You get it? The inequality sign does what? Changes. For example, if you had a negative uh, 4x is less than 2, and I divide by negative 4, negative 4. The answer would be x is greater than negative a half. Okay, I've, I've got it, sir. Anyone with backhouse too? I can't find one here. I wanted to get one. You, 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 you try it out. Um, I sent a back house too on your WhatsApp. Let yes, Lake Abbey, what's your what's your concern? Lake, you have a question? Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Yes, so my my question is on the previous page. Mm, I go back. Yes, teacher. Yes, there I am. Yes, sir, here on this step, let me see. On this step, let me see. The second last. Mm. We are here. Sir, so they are like, my values here, I got like X plus one. Then that was one bracket, then the other one was x minus one. I didn't get x plus one in bracket squared. Uh, on this one, eh? No, when you sir, factorize Noah. this one. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Remember, this is coming from this. So if you're factorizing it, it has to go back. Obviously, not so. Yes. Mm, just to go back by 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 automatic looking at it, it just go back. You don't even need to over investigate it. I'm looking for backhouse two. Anyone seen backhouse two? It's in the group. In the group, I can't find it. I wanted to get the page. Send it again to the group, please, so that people can see the page. And then you are ready to go for all those inequalities. So next lesson, I'll have to introduce curve sketching because we need this section in curve sketching. There's a part of this. So I had to first teach you how to handle the inequalities because there are some regions where the curve can pass and there are regions where the curve cannot pass. If you see any curve you've ever sketched from senior five that is maybe passing like here, then there is a reason why it's not passing here. It is not meant to pass there. 
That is why we have been studying inequalities because we shall land on regions where the curves exist and regions where the curves cannot exist. Someone sent it. Okay, someone should identify for you the page, guys, and um, locate where exactly uh, the inequalities are and try them out. Otherwise, if no question, yes, please. Sir, I've tried it again and I'm getting the same. Are you sure? Let us expand together. X plus one times X plus one. Is that so? You get X into X plus one plus one into X plus one. This will realize X squared plus X plus X plus one, which is X squared plus two X plus one. Then how are you not getting it? Mr. Can you send for me the PDF of Backhouse 2? I'm looking for it. Please someone share Backhouse 2 in the group. There is also understanding pure mathematics. Eh? I also sent it. Okay, Trevor sent it already here. Uh, it is on page. Inequalities are on page. Inequalities are on page 87. Page 87. So page 87, uh, go ahead and uh, I want to see the exercise I should give you. You know, when you're flipping the page on the phone, it is different as it is described on the, in, in, in the book. So that is page. Page 87, uh, so page 87, go ahead and look at exercise 6A. You solve the whole of it. The challenging ones, you can post them to me and then I can take a look at them. So you're doing number one up to number, number one up to number 25. In case of any concerns, don't hesitate to raise me. Okay, one to 25, all for students. If you don't attempt them, please don't come for the next lesson because it will require us to have this idea excellently before we can advance go for advanced camps. Those of us who don't even have, let me even screen share for them. Some might say, for me, I look for them and I fail. I don't want any kind of excuse to surface the exercise is there. Okay, we have a good day. No further questions.